Dear beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I come to you today with a message of grave importance, a warning that has been delivered to us through the prophetic vision of Father Jim Blunt. This vision is not merely a glimpse into the future but a call to action, a divine prompting that urges us to prepare our hearts and souls for the trials that lie ahead. The signs in the heavens and the earth are aligning, and soon we will witness events that will shake the very foundations of our world. The time has come for us to heed this warning and to seek refuge in the arms of our Savior. In a recent vision, Father Jim Blunt was granted a glimpse into a future event of celestial magnitude, a sign that will herald the beginning of great tribulations. As he prayed fervently, seeking the Lord's guidance, his mind was opened to a scene of terrifying beauty and awe. He saw the moon, the faithful sentinel of the night, suddenly begin to fade. Its silver light, which has guided mankind through countless dark nights, slowly diminished until it vanished completely from the sky. The stars, once brilliant companions to the moon, seemed to recoil in fear, their light dimmed as if mourning the loss of their celestial queen. As the world plunged into an unnatural darkness, a profound silence fell upon the earth. It was a silence that carried the weight of divine judgment, an eerie calm before the storm of trials that were to follow. In the vision, Father Blunt could feel the collective fear and confusion of humanity as they looked to the heavens, searching for the familiar glow of the moon, but finding only an empty void. This vision is not just a physical phenomenon but a spiritual sign of the times we are entering. The disappearance of the moon represents the withdrawal of divine grace from the world, a foreshadowing of the trials that will befall mankind as we turn further away from God. Just as the moon reflects the light of the sun, so too does our world depend on the light of Christ to guide us through the darkness. When that light is obscured by our sins and rebellion, we are left to wander in a darkness of our own making. The prophet Amos spoke of a time like this when he said, And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord God, that I will make the sun go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in broad daylight. Amos 8 verse 9 This is a time of spiritual eclipse, where the light of truth is dimmed, and the forces of evil are allowed to roam more freely, leading many astray. Father Blunt's vision did not end with the disappearance of the moon. As the darkness deepened, he saw the earth begin to tremble, as if it too was reacting to the absence of the moon's stabilizing presence. Nations were thrown into chaos as natural disasters struck with unprecedented ferocity. Earthquakes ravaged cities, tsunamis swept across coastlines, and storms of unimaginable strength tore through the lands. It was as if creation itself was groaning under the weight of sin, crying out for the return of divine order. Particular countries were shown to him as being especially vulnerable to these trials. The United States, a nation blessed with great prosperity but also burdened with the sins of pride and moral decay, was seen in a state of turmoil. The natural disasters that struck its shores were but a reflection of the spiritual disasters that had already taken root in the hearts of its people. In the vision, Father Blunt saw entire cities reduced to ruins, their inhabitants crying out for mercy but finding none. Brazil, a land known for its vibrant faith, was also shown in the vision. But even there, the faithful were not spared from suffering. Father Blunt saw the Amazon River swell to catastrophic levels, flooding vast areas of land and displacing millions. The cries of the people echoed through the darkened skies, pleading for divine intervention. But the waters continued to rise, a symbol of the unchecked sins that had gone unrepented. Mexico, with its deep Marian devotion, was also brought into focus. The vision showed the country being torn apart by internal strife as violence and corruption reached unprecedented levels. The faithful clung to their rosaries, praying fervently for the intercession of Our Lady of Guadalupe, but the darkness seemed to consume even their most fervent prayers. The Philippines, a nation with a strong Christian heritage, was seen enduring great trials as well. 
Typhoons of unparalleled strength battered the islands, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. The faithful gathered in churches, praying for deliverance, but the storms raged on, a test of their faith and resilience. Yet, in the midst of this darkness, there was a glimmer of hope. As Father Blunt continued to pray, he saw a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary, clothed in radiant light, appearing in the skies above the nations. Her presence brought a sense of peace and comfort, even as the world around her was engulfed in chaos. She extended her hands over the earth, and from her heart flowed streams of grace that illuminated the darkness. In this vision, Mary was a beacon of hope, reminding the faithful that they are not alone in their trials. Her maternal love and intercession are powerful weapons against the forces of evil that seek to destroy us. She calls us to prayer, penance, and conversion, urging us to return to her son before it is too late. As the vision of Mary faded, Father Blunt was left with a deep sense of urgency. The time to prepare is now. The trials that are coming are not just physical but spiritual. We must fortify our souls with prayer, especially the rosary, which is our most potent weapon against the darkness. We must frequent the sacraments, particularly confession and the Eucharist, to cleanse our souls and strengthen our bond with Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, this vision is not meant to cause fear, but to awaken us to the reality of the times we are living in. The disappearance of the moon is a sign that the light of Christ is being obscured by the sins of the world. But we are not without hope. God's mercy is still available to us, and He is calling us to return to Him with contrite hearts. Let us take this message to heart and prepare ourselves spiritually for the trials that lie ahead. The road may be difficult, but we are not alone. Our Blessed Mother is with us, guiding us with her light and interceding for us before the throne of God. Let us respond to her call with faith and trust, knowing that in the end, her immaculate heart will triumph. In the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven, Mark 13 verses 26 to 27. This is our hope and our promise if we remain faithful, we will be gathered into the arms of our Savior when he comes again in glory. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. May God bless you abundantly and keep you in his grace as we journey together through these times of trial. Your faith and devotion are a testament to the strength we find in Christ. Let us remain united in prayer and trust in the intercession of our Blessed Mother. I look forward to continuing this spiritual journey with you. God be with you always.